The Mano Brothers with Plague Bringer in studio. Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming Greg in. Greg and Josh. Never had a, a live metal band during the show. Really? Yeah, no. We've actually only first. been doing the show for like the metal show for four like or five months. Yeah, four months probably. Six tops, and we've never had a live band, so you guys are the first. Well, it's certainly a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep this quick because people don't want to hear us talk. They just want to <laughs> hear you effing rock. Um, I want to ask you guys about that. Our intern, Javier, is a, a really big fan of yours, and he was saying that you guys have. Um, you've had offers from some pretty ridiculous drummers, um, and you've consistently turned those down. Yeah, that's Can true. Can you explain that? Uh, years ago when I started the band, I um, just was doing this for fun and started programming songs in a, uh, on a drum machine, and uh, never really intended to, to play live or to go anywhere other than the bedroom with this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just kind of happened where... You know, one thing led to another. Next thing I know, I'm playing shows, and um, long story short, I really, really, really enjoy programming and playing along with the drum machine. I consider it a challenge on both levels, and hmm. so, I mean, it's kind of become um, just as significant as playing the guitar in this band for wow. me, anyhow. That's cool. Um, I wanted to say this just to, to a band. Um, the majority of bands we deal with, especially also Chicago bands, are bands that are dying to get on the radio, and they're constantly reaching out to us, but starting a metal band, that's clearly not a, uh, really a goal. a goal. I mean, you, you don't really, you know, plan on right. having that sort of, uh, that sort of mainstream outlet. Right. Is it weird to be here, or to... Completely and totally weird <laughs> to be here. <laughs> Just this is one of the more surreal experiences that, that I've ever had. I mean, I, I never, again, like I said, I never expected in a million years to, to have this this, this band, these songs being heard by, you know, as many people as have heard them. And I have no explanation to it, and I, and I don't know. All I, all I can tell you is that I just did what I felt in my heart, yeah. and, you know, here we are. So. And I just feel like metal bands and hardcore bands and, you know, certain sorts of genres, they have to work harder to kind of be heard and seen because they don't have those, like, uh, those outlets. Absolutely. Now, now imagine have, having a drum machine. In your right. Band. You know, I mean, we we I, f I feel that in the five years, five and a half years that we've been a band, I feel that that, that we've had to to kind of take our uh, uh, we've had to take a greater amount of flack, if you will, from people just because. Well, why don't you have a drummer? You you you, you, you know, it's a matter of circumstance versus you know the the actual choice. You know, to, yeah. to, to do it like this. And um, you know everything from from other bands and promoters mm -hmm. to sound guys to club owners. Just it, they're almost some of them are almost offended by the, this use of a drum machine. You mm -hmm. know, and, and again, you kind of hold it against us. Where you know there are other folks who em embrace it. I think it's awesome. Right. I think it's awesome. I think it's different, and it makes you guys stand out a bit. So and we're excited for you guys to play. Before you do, <coughs> before you play, uh, uh, please plug your uh, your show next week at Cobra. Is it the twenty fifth or 29th? Right? We are playing the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. I was it's wrong. It's Friday, the twenty sixth at Cobra Lounge. Um, it's a benefit for the Treehouse Animal Shelter um, in Chicago here, and um, our good friend uh, Bob Jones at Inside Studios was uh, responsible for uh, making this all happen. Um, yeah, cool. So you guys should come on out. Plaguebringer.com, myspace.com slash Plaguebringer, and it's um, Life Songs in the Land of Death. Life Songs in the Land of Death. We're Check excited for this, now. man. You guys are going to play three songs here uh, whenever you're ready, please. Plaguebringer live on Crash Testosterone Radio. Thank you, guys. Thank you again for having us, guys. Awesome. Righteous. That's great. <coughs> Can we get a photo with you guys? Before? Absolutely. Uh, 